Hello everyone, this is Zircon Eagle 16 here with a tutorial. I decided to make this just to make it understood. I was going to just explain it on my comparison video. But I decided to explain how this... Um, we're used to seeing like the first go suck up of Antimoom from like a test perspective get forced against the wall or forced up into a highway. I found out that it can definitely be not just a IL strat or test strat, however you want to look at it. It can actually be a consistent strat used in a run for people that don't already do this. I can explain how it's done. It's not too complicated, but I figured I would do this anyway, do this tutorial to help the people to learn how it's done. It can save all have the comparison video come out with this video at the same time um it saves on average for me about a tenth and a half to two tenths of a second in this room and that's a big difference in area one to get that time save you see much better entries and finishes because of it it's a big deal for people that are used to the same times every time in area one you know so after i done getting blasted here in gads warp So what you need to do, basically... Obviously I have to turn around to spawn this ghost. But when you're starting the suck up, you want to be like on a perfect line. It doesn't have to be 100% perfect, but you want to be on like a perfect line lined up in the middle of the room that you can see the line coming down in the carpet there. Or the flooring. If you stay there... You can do it, obviously, if he, if he has an opportunity to move, which is why you use the scare skip here to prevent that. It makes it much more unlikely he gets up above the cabinet a little bit then when he starts moving. Because the cool thing about this game is that the ghosts start at a very low spawn point when they first spawn. And then they tend to travel straight up, especially like grabbers and ghosts like this. Kind of go like up, down, up, down, up, down. Punchers are not as big of a deal, but yeah. So anyway, let's try to do this right. So I'm going to try to turn around, stay in a straight line. And there you got it. That was a little bit off, but you can like mess around with it once you get comfortable with it and still get it. I push myself into the cabinet there with the suck up. And to explain the rest of what I do here is um, whenever this guy's done spawning and respawning, um, I suck up, I push the C stick down, obviously to get the ten health off. That way, I don't move Luigi, so he stays against the object the whole time. And then I release the C stick the second that he goes to zero, and then I push him up into the cabinet once the animation starts. So yeah, that's basically what happens here. I've tried to mess around with it a little bit and try to like keep the animation up in the air slightly. See if it would be any better. But it didn't seem like it was a big deal either way. And if you get comfortable with the mistakes too, it's not really a time loss much to a normal sucker. But I mean, you can see how much faster you can make this. I'm pretty convinced that it might help to bring it up a little bit. But I didn't get any timings that were convinced me of that. So. actually have like a wave and a twirling animation that are virtually the same speed but forced against this. Yeah that's all you have to do. You don't have to release it like I'm kind of pulling C stick up a little bit there too. But yeah that's what I would normally do there just release it and push it in. 
old sea stick up, release it down, push it into there. So yeah, that's the tutorial. Um, it's definitely a nice free time save. So, if you have any questions, you can leave comments in the video or anything. Just let me know, um, or you can talk to me while speedrunning on Twitch. But hopefully it'll get people with those better times in area 1 and 2. This probably will be helpful for like any percent and stuff like that as well. Oh, my neck down. So, yeah. We'll see you guys around. Have a good time grinding away.